March, the Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. We are in process of developing a whole series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy to get people actually to love their servitude. Uh, people can be made to enjoy a state of affairs which by any decent standard they ought not to enjoy. Perhaps you had better start from the beginning. <laughs> Perhaps you had better start from the beginning. <laughs> Perhaps you had better start from the beginning. <laughs> Too many kids are what's making the planet worse. A lot of these kids come from bad gene pools. They don't have stable parents making good decisions. Mercury containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. Fluoride in water is supposed to fight tooth decay, but could it also cause cancer? Turns out the government had the right under U.S. law to conduct secret testing on the American public under specific conditions. We have to work the dark side, but we want to spend time in the shadows. Any attempt to achieve world order must be the work of the devil. Well, join me. I'm glad to sit here at the right hand of Satan. There's a need for a new world order. Someday, in the next few years, a solution will emerge. Nuclear war.
You're listening to InfoWars Worldwide. I am your host, Alex Jones. And we're here Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Back weeknights, 7 o'clock Central. InfoWars Nightly News. You hear the war drums? Listen to that, I frown, but it's a frown of enjoyment. The new Toyota face scanner would call the police or slow my car down even though I wasn't speeding because it's a sign of road rage. Yeah! I'm awake. I'm not a slave. I see the globalist. I know what they're doing. And I don't like it. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to take about 10 phone calls and then I will get into the news. I will get into this. There's just so much. I've got to do it. But the callers are the news. They bring up so much important stuff. All right, we got a caller, uh, God and Country from UK, lived in Russia on topic, wants to give us their take on what's happening over in Russia. Then Alyssa wants to talk about trendies, says that she disagrees. And then Bob in Wisconsin uh, on the topic of Russia, we're going to get to you. Uh, God and country, you're on the air. Uh, hello, Mr. Jones, can you hear me? I can, go ahead. All right, uh, first of all, God bless, uh, and God bless our country. I'm really happy to talk to you. I wanted to say quickly, there's a lot to cover, but uh, I'll try to be as quick as possible. First of all, uh, from all of us and uh, from the whole world and uh, military, uh, you're the biggest here in the world. You're a brother in arms and a modern age prophet sounding the horn for those that will listen. I uh, just want to start that Don't up. build me up um, like that. So, 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 so what's your nationality? You're saying our country. You know, my country's humanity, but I'm an American. Uh, but I mean, you're in the UK or, or are you Russian? Are you Ukrainian? What are you? Uh, a, b a bunch of things. First of all, I was born in the United States. I'm uh, from San Francisco, California. But um, uh, my parents are Russian and they ran away from, uh, you could say they ran away from the uh, communist, uh, communist 70 year old. 70-year communist takeover. The communist uh, the disease government. that our government literally defecated onto you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, which is now pushing it on uh, the United States and trying to make it a world policy now. Uh, but uh, so so I had, the, I had the opportunity to understand from my father and my mother what uh, how bad things were. And, uh, and I understood that uh, that was a big experiment. It was actually a big, huge experiment on the Russian people. Uh, I believe it was about 100 million Russians that died. The official numbers are 66 million. Uh, we're not talking about World War II deaths. World War II deaths, which was another manipulated war. Yeah, they've actually brought uh, the Russian but, population down. They brought in eugenics. They broke up the families. They put people in the big dormitories. Everything we're going to go through, the globalists have visited upon Russia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They had, uh, they had abortions, everything, before any other country had it. Uh, they were experimenting with that a long time. They were actually the... Eugenic, secret now. testing, uh, uh, breaking down the family, every nastiness, yes. Hell, hell, pure hell on earth. And the countries, you could, because uh, I lived there for about three years, now it's going to be four. I'm in the UK just visiting my grandparents. Uh, I'm trying, trying to help them, which is, actually, it's another terrible tyranny. The UK, it's unbelievable. I mean, they, they give you hell just trying to get in. I mean, you're an American, they give you hell, but every other, you know, foreigner... Someone else, they just, you know, please come on right in, you know, ruin the country further. But that's another story. And, uh, you know, I don't want to go too far into this, but uh, even the, the, the UK government took the pensions of my grandparents. And we're here trying to <laughs> trying to fight it, pull, pull it back. I mean, they took about a couple of hundred thousand pounds from my grandparents. That's what they do. So very kleptocratic. They're saying they're going to take UKIP's children. The mayor of London openly said, if you're a nationalist, basically like Ron Paul, you're mentally ill, we're going to take your kids. And they're trying to start that here. I mean, these people literally are setting up re-education camps, but they do it like it's no big deal. Like, we're going to come take your kids. It's loving. And uh, it's sick. So what's your point on Russia and the situation right now with Ukraine? All right, yeah, I'll get, I'll get, I'll get to Russia. Um Okay, uh, first of all, uh, I'm there for three years, and what, what we've seen is that, uh, uh, first of all, Putin is 100% NWO. Just get that out of the way. You know, Putin is 100% with the New World Order and, and Medvedev. The, the, the thing is, 
he has to play the role because the majority of the population still is are good people. They're still they're down to earth. You know, you know there's the, there's an expression, a, a Russian soul. It's it's real. They're really they're, the UK, the the New World Order has really tried to destroy the Russian people, the Russian nation, because they're really the outside the outside threat, the unseen, the the deck, the Joker in the in the deck. They don't know, you know, because the, the, this pe- these people have survived for thousands of years. And they never were really completely under control. And communism really gave, gave a terrible hit to the country. I mean, you have run, run down buildings all over the country still, even though it's one of the richest countries in the world now. They, they, which is one of the reasons why I, we, we, my family was actually forced to leave the United States because the, we're, we're trying to run a business, trying to do some business. We actually had to go to, the, to Russia to just basically survive just economically, besides from all the terrible tyranny back at home, you know, especially California, it's pretty insane there. I still have my sister and mother there. I'm going to try to get them out of there. Cause, uh, What's I mean, your bottom I'm line afraid. on Ukraine? Very interesting. Uh, bottom line in Ukraine, I mean, it's, it's, it's a huge conspiracy. What I want to, what I want to, about Ukraine, uh, the, the, the Ukraine, they, want, they wanted to join NATO. Number one, but they can't let Ukraine join NATO with a Russian base attached to it. It's politically unfeasible. No, that's right. That's all they public. Have... And see, this is all public. And the average American is against the war in polls, but still the minority, 20 percent that are for it. They can't even find it on a map. They just go, yeah, Russians kill them. I mean, it's just the most mindlessness. Go ahead. Yes. And uh, so so in the, the Crimea. They, uh, which the much, we used to belong to Russia for for ages, for hundreds of years, and they 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 basically use that as a as a sideshow while they're taking over the 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 Ukrainian government. I mean, do you know? Do you remember, I was, uh, Mr. Jones, when the the Polish plane with the entire Polish government got wiped out? Yes. Over Russian territory. Yes. That's exactly the same thing as happening in the Ukraine now. That's exactly the same. They replaced the government with a new, with a new New World Order government. They're going to join the, the at least the NATO. They're, they might not join the EU just yet, but they're going to join the NATO, that's for sure. So you think NATO up. blew up the Polish president? I don't know about NATO. Who did it. it doesn't matter who did it, does it? It's the new old order that blew them up because they weren't going to join the euro that easy. That's right. So it's just, above every country. That's right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, so they just wiped out. The Russians were with them. The Russian government is with them. I mean, ever since communism fell, the, the, it's an actual CIA, it was a well, CIA plan. Sure, sure. Well, what you're saying is actually very sophisticated, and it's just like Stalin and Hitler divided Poland uh, before they turned on each other, before Hitler turned on him. You're saying that this is a backroom deal to divide up Ukraine amongst themselves, let Putin secure his foothold with the illusion of outside pressure, while you, the euro can secure its foothold in, in a new Cold War. That's a very sophisticated view and that's the eye from the globalist. But they know it's fluid and it's going to change. But you've obviously lived in Russia. From my studying, the, the globalists do not completely control Russia. Obviously, Putin's got his billions in offshore bank accounts. They've been bought off to a certain extent. But he did kick out a bunch of oligarchs and arrest a bunch of Rothschild fronts. That all came out in the news and in court trials. I mean, I mean, how do you reckon for that? Yeah, that's 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 what that's what actually confuses even me sometimes, even us sometimes. Because sometimes he, he he pushes he pushes buttons that make it really look like he's anti New World Order, but but the direction the country is going, I mean, the education system, the the, the society, the cultural collapse, the music industry, the you know they're pushing homosexuality purposefully on the children, on the 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 Olympics was just a huge huge show. Just to pressure with the rainbow flags all over the place. The, the entire St. Petersburg had rainbow flags all over it. The purple. The Putin dressed up in purple. You know, supposedly Putin is anti anti gay, right? Supposedly, but then he goes on to a Russian TV show, puts on a purple shirt, talks to El Elton John, while the society locally is very against it. I See, mean, I don't get all this code stuff. I had somebody one time wearing purple in here, and 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 she's a lesbian. Uh, and, and, and she said, uh, you know, oh, you know, I wore purple today because uh, I'm just like, what does that mean? Uh, I mean, I, I wear purple shirts sometimes. And so I just want to I mean, I'm wearing a blue shirt right now. That doesn't mean I'm uh, who's got a blue flag Russian or something. But I hear you. It's all very interesting. Look, they just use this whole st stuff as a football issue back and forth. And it's the same thing. Even if Putin isn't completely in bed with the New World Order, there are special interests that over.